the sign of the times episode 185 from this undisclosed body of water that is an undisclosed body of water where perhaps woodland creatures might drink thus thrilling beast barnett I don't know if you see any but there might be some in there maybe a fish I believe ducks frequent this area I don't know but for the people that love the snaps, the always new Troy Miller t-shirt. Look at that. Troy Miller, who, as we are filming, has a birthday. So send him 10 bucks for his birthday. And then buy two or three of his shirts. Why not? It's his birthday. Support the franchise. Business card of Casey Carl Oil. Whom I have. Whom I love. Hashtag. Best in the world. Hashtag. Lover of title belts of the large size. The Lucha Underground. Fine television program. Fine program. If you like Jack Evans, if you like the local Pacific Northwest guys that are doing big things, you should like Lucha Underground. Jack Evans on there. Pamphlet of the Sign of the Times, because every show needs a pamphlet. Look at that. A Twitter, where you can follow me, but not literally. Not literally, much like Tommy Celsius does, or much like Oops, Cyrus does, Congo Kong himself. Facebook, the YouTube, which you might be watching. Try to move now. Try to move now, you're probably watching it. Cauliflower Alley 50th anniversary program. Look at that. Look at that. A lot of great people went to the Cauliflower Alley Club this year. Comic book of EMIOU. Story about a dog and a boy. Boy and a dog. They, I believe, were freelance wrestling this week. Autograph picture of Seymour Smock. Look at that. He autographed it. Signed it himself. Didn't have his secretary do it or anything like that. Autograph picture of Casey Carlisle available at CaseyCarlisle.com. It's CaseyCarlisle.com for all your gift giving needs. Say so you need something for the end of the school year for your teacher and say, hey teacher, thanks for being my teacher. Here's an autograph picture of Casey Carlisle on a Catholic school girl outfit. Your teacher will graduate you even if you hadn't even attended a class all year. So you just didn't do any of the work. They'd still pass you. Yeah? Or Nurse Appreciation Day. Get some of those and all the nurses in your local hospital. Or, look at that, there she is next to a barn. Or, if you're like QT Vokes, you'll want several of these with a pillow. Or, if you're on the smaller size, you get smaller pictures. Not so intimidating that way. There she is angry, which is kind of intimidating. There she is next to Team Bad Knees. Cameron Starr debuting in NWA Circle City Wrestling against Paloma Starr this coming Sunday. Troy Miller and Miss Liz probably out as we speak at this very second as we're filming celebrating Troy Miller's birthday. They probably have gone to the Waffle House for steak and coffee. And the book I'm currently reading, Grappler. Memoirs of a Masked Madman. If you're a fan of the Grappler, you should pick it up. Tremendous read. Or if you're a fan of, say, Mid-South Wrestling, or if you're a fan of the old Houston Wrestling, or if you're a fan of Pacific Northwest Portland Wrestling and Don Owen, great read. Pick it up. Pick it up. So, busy, busy week this week as I sit here on this vlog right next to this undisclosed body of water. Look at how that water is up flowing. Look at that. QT Volk's probably riveted, riveted, especially at the little rapid part right over there. Right over there, the rapid part. You would probably watch this over and over, just captivated. But, Sunday of this week, we have on Steve month, the man behind Congo Kong, Steve Wilson, he will be our guest on Turnbuckle. Then I got a 
beeline it down to the NWA blue collar while my women's expert is at NWA Circle City. So big day for us turnbuckle people in the NWA. It's like we're the official people that wrestle in the NWA and do turnbuckle turmoil apparently. And on Monday, Tuesday, if there's no further sicknesses or internet shenanigans or people trying to listen to JV Moonshine on the Undisputed Wrestling Show, we will have Bring in the Heat. Bring in the Heat. Wednesday. Total dudes. If you thought Ariane could not make Rex Razor Sharp any angrier than she did last week, she reaches a whole new level this week. I don't know if Rex Razor Sharp can take much more of it. I just don't know if he can handle it. But Ariane gets way worse. Way worse. We'll cover it on Total Dudes. The things we do for you people. Things we do for you people. On Thursday, next Friday, on David Month, David Haskins, Memphis Wrestling Mainstay. He was in the Memphis Territory under the auspices of, Jeff, of Jerry Jarrett and Jerry Lawler. WCW, the old WWF. He's been around and around. He's been in a lot of places, done a lot of things. Hopefully QT will ask him things like, why do you prefer singles and or tag team wrestling? Or he might ask him, have you ever wrestled in a steel cage? Or he might ask him, how does it feel to be one of the few people to ever kick out of Triple H's pedigree on national television? Which he did. But instead, you'll probably ask him about the collar of the Cleveland Cavaliers uniforms, or you might ask him about, you know, his favorite brand of macaroni and cheese. I don't know what he'll ask, but he'll ask something. He'll ask something. David Starr, and he got into this long conversation on amateur wrestling. You know, David Starr, apparently, an accomplished amateur wrestling, so that went smooth. But we'll see how he does with David Haskins. So if we're reviewing from this undisclosed body of water, where there's some rapids, potential wildlife, and it's Troy Moore's birthday. On Sunday, Steve Month, with the man behind Congo Pong, Steve Wilson. Congo Pong, not much of a talker, but Steve Wilson can talk and make gear. If you need gear made, he's your man. He is your man. On the heels of that, beelining down to NWA Blue Collar while Cameron Starr laces up the boots for NWA Circle City, where hopefully Paloma Starr will not go for her bad knee. Because, you know, it's kind of a target. She's got a bad knee, everybody knows it. A member of Team Bad Knees tips people off every time. Monday, open free. Tuesday, we may or may not be bringing the heat, we'll see. Third time in a row, I plug bringing the heat two times, it has not happened. Third time, will it be the charm, will it not? We'll find out, we'll find out if Big D and Von Hess bring the heat, or if they bring the cancellation, I don't know. Wednesday, total dudes, we'll see if Rex Tracer Sharp's head explodes, it might. He might be speaking and then just kaboom! Beth Sharp will be looking for a new husband. Beast Barnett will be like laying down the 10 count. He'll get like eight, nine, 10, he'll be like it's done, it's done. Alomar will just sit back and eat some maple syrup topped vanilla ice cream. Well, Sean Brittany, it's like, I think I need a McDonald's hit. He'll go to McDonald's and he'll tell some random stranger about the importance of Grimace to McDonald's. Then on Thursday, it's pretty much looking at three. Friday, David Month, David Haskins. You might remember him from Memphis Wrestling. Where he was a mainstay for a long time. We'll be talking some Memphis for sure. For sure. So pretty much 185. 